First, we're gonna talk about the nervous system on page F4. So behind me, I've drawn an example of a typical neuron. So here you have your cell body, and here's your nucleus. Um, all these different things are called dendrites, okay? And they're gonna receive different signals. Then you've got your long axon here. What I've drawn on here are your myelin sheaths. This allows for something called saltatory conduction, which we'll talk about. Um, but this is how basically one cell talks to another cell. Here, you've got your, um, your synapses. So they're gonna be at the very, very ends of the axon and they're gonna synapse with another cell body. And this little space in between here is called your synaptic cleft. And this is where it's gonna transmit different things like acetylcholine, uh, dopamine, serotonin, whatever sort of neurotransmitter you have. That's gonna be secreted there and that's how it gets absorbed into the next cell body. So whenever you're talking about like nerve conduction, this is gonna be on page F5, we talk a lot about potentials. So essentially that cell that we have is polarized. So all along your cell and your axon, it's polarized. So if you wanted to look at sort of a blown up image, if this is your axon, you've got more negatives in here and more positives out here. So this is achieved through different channels. So there are no sodium channels here. Most of this is actually done through um, potassium channels. So what happens is you've got these little thing called leak channels, which look like this, and they're pretty much always open, and they allow positives to come out of here. So think about it, if you have a cell and you've got a whole bunch of positives leaving, but a whole bunch of negatives staying in there, this is gonna become more negative. And that negativity is what we call a potential. So the potential of a given cell is about negative 70 millivolts.